Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to calculate the branch current, that is the current flowing through 5 ohm, the current flowing through 3 ohm, the current flowing through 4 ohm, the current flowing through these 2 ohm here, and also the current flowing through 5 ohm. We are looking for I1, I2, and I3. Then after that, we want to calculate the power that is dissipated on the 5 ohm resistor due to the 5 ohm resistor. And also, we want to calculate the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor. Is that okay now? Now, if you've not gotten across the video that shows us how we can calculate for 8I1, Calculate for the equations of this mesh. You can click on this link at the top right corner of the screen. It will show you on how you can calculate for each of these equation using the KVL. Right? Now let's start. Now for the previous video, I made you understand that there are different ways at which you can calculate for the current when you have a system of equation. Right? Three equation. Now you can use, I say you can use your matrix. You can use your um, elimination method, your system method, your Saros rule, and so on and so forth. But for the benefit of the viewers here, I am going to be using what is called Saros rule. Is that okay now? So let us try. At the end of the video, I will show you a link at which you can be able to watch a video that will show you on how to use Kramer's rule also. But for this video, we are going to be using Saros rule. So using Saros rule, which I'm going to write here, using Saros rule, I'm going to write the augmented form of this equation. So let's start and see how that goes. So I'll place it this way by saying, um, using Saros rule. That is what we are going to be using, right? So I'll write this in augmented form. So we we'll have an equation the one here for the I1 will be having eight for equation one. For equation two, we're having I1 to be what three. For equation three, there is no I1, we only have I2 and I3, meaning I1 is what is zero. You can see that now. For the I2, for equation 1, we're having it to be minus 3. For I2 in equation 2, we're having it to be minus 9. For I2 in equation 3, we're having it to be what? 2. Now, for equation 1, I3, we don't have, we only have I1 and I2, so meaning I3 is what? Is 0. Right? Then I3 here in equation 2 is 2. Then I3 here in equation 3 is what? Minus 7. You can see that? Minus what? 7. Now, we will now repeat the first two columns. These are the columns. So repeat them again, which is what? 8, 3, 0, minus 3 minus 9 and 2 i repeated them again right now in doing that we'll start i'm going to take my rule and i'm going to join this use a line to join three diagonals if i take zero it's not working if i take two it's only two numbers it must be three number now i'm taking this you can see this is three so i'm going to Multiply all this. You can see that? I'll come here again. And these two. And these two. You can see that? Those three diagonals. So this is what I'm going to do here, one after the other. It will be you multiply all the numbers in the in one diagonal, right? And add it with the multiplication of all the number in another diagonal. 
and add it with multiplication of all the numbers on that diagonal. This is what I mean here. So from here, I'm going to be having um eight right times minus nine times minus seven in brackets plus minus three times two times zero that's for the diagonal plus zero times three times two you can see that so this is one for this now the next thing is i'll go in the other direction from the top right and i'll be having this this way i'll be having this this way i'm now going to join you this way from the top here going towards the right this is what will happen I can't take only eight. I cannot take only this two, three, but I can take all this all together this way. So I will have this. I'm going to have this diagonal. Then I'm going to have this. You can see that? So what I have there is I will now subtract it minus minus right it will be minus zero times minus nine times zero we have in the bigger bracket now we have the smaller one which will be zero times minus nine times zero in one bracket plus the other one eight times two times two we have eight times 2 times 2 plus the other one minus 3 times 3 times minus 7 minus 3 times 3 times minus 7 so this is all what we have here you can see that now the next thing that i will be doing here is that you multiply if you multiply 8 times minus 9 times minus 7 right we're going to be having 504 5 what 0 4 so this is 5 0 4 minus times minus is plus so that's why there's no negative here and no matter what we do, minus 3 times 2 is 6 times 0, we have having 0, so plus 0. No matter what we do, plus 3 times three, 3 times 0 times 2 give us 0. So this is what we're having left here. Minus, no matter what we do, 0 times minus 9 times 0 will still give us 0. Right? Plus, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is what, 32 right plus now we have minus 3 times 3 is what minus 9 minus 9 times minus 7 will give us what plus it is 3 that will give us what 63 that's the key now so from here whatever you add with 0 will give you whatever you add with it so 504 plus 0 plus 0 will give you what 504 minus 32 plus 63 that gives us 95 can you see that now we subtract 95 minus 504 that give you 409 so we have 409 what is my answer here so I will call this to be my delta. See what I'm doing? So I call this to be my delta. You can see that to be A, depending on what you want to do. Now what I'm going to do is this again. Since I have written this out, now the next thing is, 
this is my first equation here i'm going to replace it with the other one i have outside because if i write this in augmented form this is what i am going to have let me show you now this is what if i move this i'll be having this right so i wrote this out and i repeated the first two columns now what i'll do is since i want to look for i1 what i'm going to do in the column which has i1 we know that the first column is i1 second column is i2 third column is what i3 so what i want to do is since i want to calculate for i1 right so i'll put it this way calculating calculating for i1 it means that i'm going to remove all the column of i1 and I'll replace it by what i have outside the equal sign here so instead of writing 830 i'm going to write 15 minus 535 so let's do that and see i'm going to have the what 15 minus 5 then 35 then we'll now write the remaining one which is minus 3 minus 9 2 0 2 minus 7 now what will i do i'll now repeat the first two column again that will be what 15 minus 5 35 minus 3 minus 9 2 you see now what i would also do here is the same thing i did in the first one i'm going to multiply i'm going to multiply the equation here that we have mm -hmm. which is starting from here take a diagonal that contains three numbers which is this right the next one be the next diagonal which is this the next one will be the next diagonal which is this you can see that so what i did earlier i will go to repeat the same thing so i'm going to multiply each of them 15 times minus 9 times minus 7 we have 15 times 9 times 7 that will give you 945 right so we'll be having 15, let's just do that, uh, 15 times negative 9 times negative 7 in one bracket, you can see that, plus the next one will be minus 3 times 2 times 35 on the same diagonal, plus we have um, 0 times minus 5 times 2 is what we have in a bigger bracket everything here minus then i'll go to the smaller one coming the other way around this way going towards the right so this is taking three diagonal three diagonal three diagonal right that is what we actually have here so what i'm going to do here is this the same thing i did previously i'm going to be having 35 times minus 9 times 0 we have 35 times negative 9 times 0 and 1 plus 15 times 2 times 2 15 times 2 times 2 plus minus 3 minus 5 minus 7 minus 3 minus times minus 5 times minus 7 in a bigger bracket. All good. Now what we're going to do here is that when you multiply 15 times 9 times 7 will give us 945 and minus the minus is plus so we have what positive 945 now the next thing will now be 
minus 3 times 2 times 35 that will give us 210 but there's a negative there so we have what minus 200 and what 10 because the minus plus times plus will give you what minus then since we have zero here everything will become zero so we have what plus what zero is that again now from here we move forward everything here minus 35 times minus 9 times 0 since there's 0 here everything here will become what will become 0 15 times 2 times 2 that is we have um, 15 times 2 times 2 we have 60 so this will give me plus 60 right so we have minus 3 times minus 5 will give you 15 then 15 times 7 that will give us what 105 but there's negative there so we have minus 100 and what 5 you can see that now when you subtract 945 minus 210 we're going to be having 735 right so we're having here 700 and what 35 minus right we have minus let's see 60 minus 105 60 minus 105 105 will give us minus 45 minus 10 minus is plus we have in what plus what plus 45 right so 45 plus 735 is going to give us what 780 so we're having this to be 780 700 and what 80 as our answer so this will be my delta i1 because i am representing that i1 with what i have outside so i'll answer that therefore my i1 will not be equal to what delta i1 all over what delta now what is delta i1 that is what 700 and what 80 all over what i1 all over delta so what is delta delta is what 409 so therefore my i1 will now give me um 480 divided by 409 i'll be having 1.907 907 ampere so i1 is this is that the key now the next thing we're going to calculate for would be for i2 and this is what we'll be having from our equation here from this main equation i told you this is i1 i2 and i3 since i'm looking for i2 i'm going to move the entire value of i Two and I'll place what I have out here. So I'll be having this to be we have um eight three zero. Then instead of writing this, I'll write this. This will be fifteen minus five thirty five. Right, and um, the next one will not give me zero two negative seven right i'll not repeat the first two row which is what eight three zero i'm talking about the first two column 15 minus five and what 35 so we're going to repeat the same process you take your row then you start coming in this manner the diagonals this is coming together and uh, this is also coming together then this is coming together so to save time you now multiply 8 times 5 times 7 8 times 5 times 7 that will give us 280 i'm having 280 the negative is going to what to disappear because minus time is plus then since this has 0, 15 times 2 times 0 will give us what 0, so we have plus 0. In the next one too, this has 0 too, we have what? Plus 0. Everything here, minus, I will go to 
the other direction in this manner this we take this two diagonal out this two diagonal and this two diagonal so no matter what we do zero times minus i times zero will also give us what zero 35 times 2 times 8 35 times 2 times 8 will give us 560 so we have plus 560 then minus 7 times 3 times 15 minus 7 times 3 times 15 will give us minus 315 minus what 315 so this is what we have so we'll now be left with 280 minus 560 minus 15 315 we have 560 minus 315 that will give us 245 so we are having 200 and what 45 right so 280 minus 245 280 minus 245 that will give us 35 so the value here is what 35 right so this is what you are seeing is my delta what delta i2 that is changing what i2 so i will not say that therefore what i have here my i2 will not be giving me as delta i1 all over what delta i will know my delta i1 is giving us what i mean delta i2 all over delta you know that i2 is giving us what 35 all over the delta is given as what 409 so no matter what to do my i2 here will now be given us 35 divided by 409 and that will give us 0 0.086 0 0.086 ampere so that is for the i2 now for the i3 we'll do the same thing calculating for i3 calculating for i3 right means that i write all the values but for the column of i3 i'll replace by the one i have outside here so we have in 8 3 0 minus 3 minus 9 2 then we'll now have 15 minus 5 and what 35 i replaced it by this i'll now repeat the first two columns which is 8, 3, 0. We have minus 3, minus 9, and we have what? 2. So we'll do the same thing that we did, that we did earlier. I'll take all the column here, this, this, and what? And this. So when you multiply 8 times 9 times 35, 8 times 9 times 35 so we're having 2 5 20 but there's a negative there so we have minus what 2 5 20 put it in brackets right then minus 3 minus 5 0 will end up having 0 plus 0 then minus 15 times 3 times 2 will give me we have minus 15 times 2 times 2 will give us what 90 so there's negative there so we have what minus what 90 minus i'll go to the other aspect again i'll take it in the other way around it should be this this and what this so when you do that in this bracket here in this bracket here we're gonna have um look at what will happen zero times nine times six. this will have zero there this will be what zero then we have 8 times 5 is 40, 40 times 2 is 80, then we have a negative, we have minus what, 80. Then we have 35 times 3 times 3, so we have in 35 times 3, will give us, everything is 315, and we have negative, so we have minus what, 315. So we move forward, so minus 520 minus 90, we have minus 520 minus 20. That will give us minus 610. So we have negative what? 610 here. Then from here, we have minus 80 minus 315. Minus 80 minus 315. 
we have minus 335 so plus will give you what plus what plus 300 and what 35 395 sorry 395 because that minus that we get here times this will give you plus so when we have this we now have minus 610 minus 610 right plus 395 that will give us negative 215 so having negative what two one five. So this will give us what negative two one five as our what delta i three. Now what this means here, let's move forward. So we now see that my i three will now be equals to delta i three all over what delta, and this will give me um negative two one five all over what. 409 and what is the 409 that we have here so 215 divided by 215 divided by 409 and that will give us 0 0.5256 so we have i3 to be what 0 0.5256 now we're having negative right the negative doesn't mean your value is wrong. Negative does negative simply means that what your i3 is going the wrong direction. What I mean is instead of i3, right? Instead of i3 that we have here to be flowing in the other direction, it is not flowing in this direction. So it means that i3 will be going backward instead of what forward. So your value is correct. The negative doesn't mean that your direction is what is wrong. So we say that my branch current. So the branch current, the branch current, I1, I2, and I3 will now be giving us, uh, I3 is what? Negative 0 0.5256, right? That's I3, I2 is what? 0 0.086 is ampere, ampere. Then the I1 that we have here is given to be 1.907 1.907 ampere. So this is my branch current, right? Now simply it means that the current flowing through, let me show you something. It means that the current flowing through this 3 ohm here, so right, current. Flowing current flowing tr through the three ohm resistor mm, is what I one minus I two, and that means that I one minus and I. I I1 minus I, I1 minus I2 simply means simply means what is my I1? 1 1.907 minus 0 0.086. Right? And if you do that, 1.907 minus 0 0.086 will give us this will give us what? We'll be having 1.821 1.821 1 ampere so the current flowing in that across the three ohm resistor is this so we can now see that we are told to look for the voltage across the voltage drop so we now see that therefore our voltage drop will now be v equals to what i r we are looking for the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor, right? So we have the current of the 3 ohm resistor. Then we are looking about RU 3 ohm. Is that the key now? Everything is the 3 ohm. So what is we now have? The I3, the current flowing through that is what? 1.821, right? 1. what? 821 multiply by the resistor that we're talking about which is 3 ohm that is 3 so my voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor will now give me 
times 3 that will be 5.463 volts so that is for the question one now for the next one so now the power dissipated on the 5 ohm resistor you know that recall power is equal to what the current times what the voltage right we're talking about the power on the 5 ohm resistor here now since we're not having voltage here we can easily use this voltage that voltage here so we're not say that recall you know very well that my voltage equals to what i r according to what Ohm's law right so we just say that the power across the 5 ohm resistor will now give more i times what i r and i times i will give us what i square so they will now have i square r so we're talking about the power across what the 5 ohm resistor so if you look at this very well my i square is the current flowing through the 5 ohm and the question i will ask you what is the current flowing through the 5 ohm the current actually flowing through the 5 ohm here is i3 you can see that i3 is flowing through that means our idea is what i3 so what is the i3 i3 is given as what 0 0.5256 is that the key 0 0.5256 so i'm going to say that the zero this will be i3 right so that will give me the i3 ampere that will give me 0 0.5256 multiplied by the resistor and what is what and that is across the 5 ohm resistor that again and we have uh, what value do we have there the value we actually have at the 5 ohm resistor that is 5 yes so we have 5 so this is 5 and when you multiply the power there will not give me 0 point 0 point 0.5256 multiplied by 5 and that will give us 2.628 watts that will be the power so this is what we've done now we have successfully calculated the power across the 5 ohm resistor and also we have successfully calculated the um the current the voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor is that again and also the branch current so this is what we have and if you want to understand on how to um use the um Kramer's rule aside from this the Saros rule to calculate for this you can just easily click on the link at the top right corner of the screen here to take you to that place so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button comment share and also like the video thanks for watching